Uh, yeah, I mean, not to start, we won it at all. Uh, they came out hard, obviously, and, uh, you know, they sent a message, they had the puck the whole time, and, and we gave up two, so I think we can be proud of our effort all in all, battling back there in the third and uh, scoring two goals to force in the overtime and, uh, and get a point, so it could have gone either way, but, um, you know, I thought we tried to, or we kind of figured it out a little bit uh, halfway through the second into the third and started playing uh, a lot better, and, um, you know, we made up for, uh, for some of the mistakes in the first and battled back. I thought we just a little bit better D zone, breaking out the puck uh, in our own end. And uh, I mean, they did a pretty good job of that too to start off. And they were just in our zone the whole time. And uh, they spread us out pretty well. So I thought finally, once we started spreading them out and just shooting the puck, I mean, their goalie played unbelievable tonight. He uh, made some big saves for them. And uh, a big key for us to begin with is just getting on the inside. They're a big team to keep you on the outside. So uh, once we kind of did that, uh, you know, we started to get more and more chances and scored some goals and uh, battled back. Yeah, I just got to adjust for something like that. Uh, obviously, I mean, he's a big part of this team. He does a lot for us down the middle there. So when you lose a key player like that, uh, other guys need to step up. And, uh, you know, I think we put Willie there uh, in the middle for, for most of the game. And uh, he kind of answered the bell. He did well. And, uh, you know, he, got, he just got to get guys that uh, keep their shifts short so they can jump in and on that other line and kind of mix guys around and uh, just get out there and, uh, and play hockey. Was Tim too, too worried of waiting out that review for goalie interference? No, I mean, I didn't know what they were really challenging it for. Uh, all of us thought it was kicking motion, and then it, I think it ended up being goalie interference. But, um, I don't know, from my point of view, there was no kicking motion. It just deflected off my foot, and I don't know. I'm not even sure I touched it while it was uh, rolling in the net, but I know I didn't uh, touch the goal or anything like that, so I didn't really know what was going on. But I think we were all pretty confident on the bench that it was, uh, it was a good goal. The ability to engage and tenacity was that a key in the third period and forcing turnovers and and uh, and g getting the transition game going. Yeah, I think once we started playing a little bit meaner, I mean they came out hard. Uh, they were finishing checks, uh, a couple of big hits for them, and uh, you know I think that that was a big wake up call for us going in the second and third. We needed to compete a bit more and play a bit meaner because uh, they were just outworking us in every uh, every category. So uh, I think once we kind of just put our foot on the gas, we had more and more opportunities and played more of our style of game tracking pucks and, uh, and going the other way, utilizing our speed and just putting the, the puck in behind and getting on them. So uh, I thought that third period would be played a lot better.